I'm back in my backyard right now and it's looking better than it was before. In the last video I shared it was torn apart and I today got my garden beds which is really nice because it is my one year anniversary of gardening. If you didn't watch the other video I explained that I got really into pandemic gardening and uh, I think it's a lifestyle change for me. I love spending time back in my backyard and I love growing my own food and all of the other things that come with gardening. I have started collecting rainwater. I have started really caring for my soil and looking for different types of vegan fertilizers. And I have a lot of resources coming your way as I, as I learn and as I test new things, I will be sharing that with you. So I wanna just flip the camera around, show you a little bit about what's happening and uh, give you a small explanation for why I'm doing things the way that I'm doing things. All right, I mentioned in my last video that I was going with the Hugel culture method and here it is. But first I put down some hardware cloth. The hardware cloth will help prevent any critters from getting in into my vegetable bed. And then I put down some cardboard to stop weeds from coming. I've been saving boxes for a while and I decided to not go with like a plastic cloth and, um, and went with something that will eventually uh, biodegrade and not cause any environmental damage. Okay, plus it's free if you get packages and you just save them. Then I used tree debris. I We cut our trees a while ago and I made sure to save them. I am doing this for several reasons. One, because it saves a lot of money on soil to fill, fill this big bed, but also it will break down over time and add nutrients to my soil. I have different types of trees in there and um, when you're choosing, just make sure that the tree is okay. I don't know um, about every single type of tree, but the ones that I'm using are good to go. Then I'm going to use some of the soil that was in my former bed to cover up this. I'm going to put it about halfway and that soil is high quality and it has a lot of worms and just has been well taken care of over the years that it was used as a garden bed. Then I'm going to purchase some bulk soil. The bulk soil is um, coming from a company in Sacramento that has uh, an organic mix and I will fill the rest of the beds with that. I'm also putting Oyas, which I'm hoping to talk more about in my next video. Oyas are um, a very old school, like centuries old, um, form of irrigation that is basically a terracotta bucket that goes in the soil and allows the roots of your plants to drink from the oil when it's thirsty. It's very cool. I will show you in my next video when I have everything set up. Uh, and then, and then I'll plant. This is what it'll look like over here when it's finished. I've got some kale. I planted some leafy greens over here. Got a marigold that I transplanted over here. It's looking pretty good. It looked like it was gonna die, but it came back to life. Here is a tomatillo plant. Over here, I've got um, one of my old beds, which is just a water trough. This is garlic and arugula. I grew all of that from seed. Uh, that was just, I got some garlic cloves from Whole Foods, organic garlic cloves, and I planted them and now I have a bunch of garlic. And those are from botanical, botanical gardens. I can link them below. I got mo most, mm, mm, a lot of my seeds from them. And then over here, I've got some potatoes. Like the garlic, I just, um, planted organic potatoes that I got from the grocery store 
and watched some YouTube videos to make that happen and have been adding soil. I probably need to add more soil as the plant is continuing to grow. And uh, over here, I'm hardening off some of my vegetables that I grew from seed. These are different tomato plants, peppers. Over here, I've got more peppers. I added my flowers up here. Let's see. All of them are closing for the evening. And then over here, I'm getting rid of these. This, these are going to my parents' house. Uh, I will move out. Uh, I will move out my plants. These are flowers, and then this is my herb garden, which I'll also be transplanting. Got some parsley, dill. These all uh, lasted over winter from last year. It's oregano, cilantro, chives. Over here I've got my vertical succulent garden and those I just got from Amazon. I can link them below. This is also a similar, a similar concept to the Oya. They're terracotta spikes with a bottle attached a uh, bottle full of water as you can see and it allows the flower to oh look it's it's flowering um it allows the plant to uh drink when it's thirsty and over here i uh, <laughs> i actually just found out that this is a peach tree and not a nectarine tree that i thought that i bought i was looking at old receipts and i saw a peach tree <laughs> and and confirm that it is in fact a peach tree I did not want another peach tree because I have a big beautiful one but oh well then over here so this one is a tiny it's a mini it's a mini peach tree it'll stay very low I think it said it'll be without pruning six feet if you're pruning then shorter over here I've got my little tiny babies coming out of dormancy again I've got my cherry Bartlett pear uh, burgundy plum and then the last little stick over there that one is a uh, Fuji apple I've got I finally put in my <sighs> navel orange this guy is coming out of dormancy that's my fig tree it's a brown turkey and my strawberries are flowering they were little tiny itty bitty baby plants when I got them last year from the farmer's market and they were only like maybe I don't know two bucks each I'm really happy that they're growing it's another vego garden bed raspberries my beautiful beautiful red baron peach tree it only gave us one, but I'm aiming for five this year. I've done everything I was supposed to do. I pruned it, I sprayed it, I did all of the things so that it produces and is super healthy. I put a lot of mulch down, that's like five inches of mulch. So hopefully I'll get some fruit. Over here, I transplanted some of uh, the kale that I grew from seed, the marigold lots of different varieties i've got four varieties right here of blueberries this is a bountiful blue um sunshine jewel and pink lemonade all from oh wait actually these three are from dave wilson's nursery as are all my all my um bare root trees that i purchased there's my um compost bin and over here, that's a uh, coco coir. I don't use peat moss because I found out that it is uh, environmentally harmful. So I decided to go with coco coir. It's a very dense b block of coco coir that ends up um, producing a, or offering a lot to me once I um, hydrate it. And then over here, I've got all of my old dirt I saved it because there are a lot of worms and other beneficial insects in there it's a big mound and that's where I am getting a huge serious serious workout um, shoveling and that's my pile of tree debris for my other garden beds and then this 
once it's all gone, I will put two different garden beds right here to take up that whole space. All right, my friends, here you go. This is it. I will turn the camera back around and it's getting dark here in Sacramento, although you can't really tell with the camera. This is my new camera and it's doing a good job so far. I hope you enjoyed my little video and I will continue to keep you posted. I took some clips that maybe I'll insert in here of me putting stuff in this bed. I am getting quite good at the manual labor part of this. I've got, um, I'm acquiring the strength that I need. I'm building it. Uh, when I first, the first day that I actually shoveled all those trees, uh, to di I dug the, the holes, I was so exhausted and cranky and awful. <laughs> My husband came home and he was like, hey, he's like, don't talk to me. Um, I'm getting better about it and building up the strength and endurance to not be so crappy when he gets home from work. Okay, hope your gardening is going well. Please let me know how it's going in the comments. I love hearing from you all and I will update again soon. Bye.